Hey guys, it's Justine. And I'm Jenna. Welcome to the Same Brain Podcast. Basement edition. Woo, let's roll that intro. Hi friends, how's it going? Hello, it, we're back in the basement. Yep, we're in the basement. This is our sister's basement, but it's crazy because if you were to just see this, like you wouldn't think it was a basement because it's like a finished basement. Oh, very nice, very large. I think it actually might be bigger than the uh, my first apartment that I had. This might actually be bigger than my entire home because there's a lot of little, like there's one, two, like there's three rooms in this basement. And a bathroom with a shower. So this Crazy. is, yeah, I, it's kind of shocking the difference between East Coast and West Coast mentality. <laughs> you can't have basements in Los Angeles. You can. It's very expensive for taxes and you have to get like very special permits. It's possible. Ma- uh, people in Manhattan Beach have them. Yes, they do. But anyway, uh, welcome back to the podcast. Uh, if you are listening, hello. But we've been doing video podcasts on YouTube and now also on Spotify. Woo, woo, woo. This is this is big news, people. This is actually our first official full episode. Oh. That we're like recording for. Yeah. For. For Spotify. This is This is wild. Yes. I don't know. I'm not ready. I mean, we still have them on YouTube, obviously, but I think it's really cool because now Spotify is opening up to basically all creators and podcast people so that you can you can do video now. I love that. I mean, we've been doing video since the beginning because you were very adamant about it. It was a very, I feel like it was a very expensive endeavor. <laughs> you wouldn't think, but like it is because it's like not only do you need, you know, good audio, you need good lighting, you need good cameras. Like we had to sometimes brush our hair. It's a problem. I, I understand it's, it's a problem. It's a big problem, but you know what's great? The new opportunity that we have here to make video, <laughs> make videos <laughs> for our podcast on Spotify. I'm excited. I love Spotify. I have been team Spotify from the beginning. I don't use Apple Music except when I use my home my HomePod, and even then, I would still just use my HomePod HomePod to connect via Bluetooth from Spotify. So I'm yawning already. That's which okay. Is a problem. Wait, I also would like to say that I do I do use Amazon Music with my Echo devices throughout the house. Oh yeah, true. Uh, which is so. Here's the thing. I use Apple Music with my HomePod, mm-hmm. which you can actually use Spotify, but for whatever That's reason, what I've, I do. I've also never switched over. I have been using Spotify since 2008 now. Okay, get this. 2008, tell the story. Two. Spill the tea, sis. Let's, actual sis. This I've is never wild. said that. Okay, actual. Weird. Weird. So when I did my interview with Daniel, we were trying to figure out how I got an invite. And I couldn't remember either. And back when I was in San Francisco around like 2007, 2008, because that's where I originally first moved to, was San Francisco. We thought that I got it from, you know, the investor community. We thought that was originally where it came from. Turns out, I got it, I got an invite from a fan in 2008. I'm trying to realize, I'm trying to look up when I joined. But that is a fan in 2008 just randomly, inv- and he didn't work there? I don't, I don't know, to be honest with you. He didn't have a Spotify email, but he was obviously from Sweden or Norway or somewhere not here because in the United States, you weren't able to get it yet. So I think I signed up for it and then didn't really use it until 2009 when I actually got an invite from someone who worked at Spotify. There's no official way to find out when you created your account, but if you had a premium trial at the beginning, you could check out the date of that. I'm so yachty. I'm so sorry. I don't think I had, I definitely didn't have a premium account (laughs) because I was like, probably like in high school or college and probably didn't have any money. So I probably didn't pay for it. So what I did is I looked up in my email. So you can go through Gmail and like search for Spotify oh. when we first joined. Well, so that's we'll what get, I we'll did. We'll get back to that. That is Spotify account. So then in 2009, when this guy sent me an invite, I was like, cool, thanks. Can't wait to check it out. I clicked to sign up. I'm already freaking on it. Yeah, that's wild. And which was wild at the time because Spotify was, on, you like you weren't able to get it in the United States yet until around like, I'm actually not sure when. I'm not sure either. Well, it looks like I, d- I subscribed to Spotify Premium in 2015. So it's been at least since 2015, but I know it's been way before that. Because in the interview we were talking and he's like, yeah, I think it would probably would have been 2010. And I was like, mm, I feel like I had it longer than that. Because yeah. I remember talking to people in like 2009, 2008 about it. <laughs> anyway. I, w- I was in, in 2008? How old were I was, we? I was graduating high school. Shut up. Shut up. I was so young and youthful. It's going to be my birthday soon. I know. Crazy. It's oh gonna my God. Be are birthday. we going to shoot a birthday Actually, podcast? Yeah. Wait, gonna, is this going to be the birthday podcast? I was going to say, this can't be the birthday podcast. Is, it, is what's, this a, it? What's our timeline? What's our timeline? Okay, oh my God. Pod- no, no. Uh, unfortunately, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. We can do. Wait, we, no, we can do one. We can do a bonus, a bonus birthday podcast, but we're going to have to film it. It's we a, might film it on my birthday. It's we gonna, could do a live one. 
Well, that's a lot of work. We could do it live. We're we not could do, do it that. live. But don't, if, if, if okay, this is, we, no, we, I'm holding us accountable that we will film this, this podcast can go live next Saturday. That's the 18th. It, that's when we post podcasts. Yes, on I Saturday. know. I know. And during that week of the 13th, we will film a very special birthday podcast to have a bonus episode for your birthday on the 20th. The only day we can do it is the 15th. Because, or the I'm 14th, not doing anything. Or for the 14th, because I'm leaving the 15th. That's fine. Let me know what time and I'll be ready because I clearly have nothing to do except I do have to give blood work. What uh, time is that? I don't know. It might be the 15th. It might okay. not even be the right day. Here's what I'm thinking. I'm thinking we can probably record it around 5 p.m. And then get dinner? Well, no, because then I, well, because it's, we can talk about this offline. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, anyway, what we're saying is if this is the birthday podcast, happy birthday. <laughs> because clearly it's a very tight schedule of when we can film birthday I podcasts. have a lot. Trying to fit in all of my hobbies and do real work. Why is, do you have so many tabs open? This girl has about 27 tabs open. So all of those are my Bloomingdale's potential shopping items that I want to buy, but I'm not sure if I want them. You know what I could do? I could add them to a potential wish list. <laughs> but I didn't. I just opened them all in a new window. I think we all might be a little ADHD here because I don't have, I have no clue what we were just talking about. We were talking <laughs> about my busy day and my busy hobbies. Oh, right, right, right. Yeah, I don't, this is why I don't have any hobbies, Jess, because there's just no time. I'm, I am barely surviving just working Did, and well, surviving. Have we, we haven't even talked about my new hobby. My we haven't read hobby. our reviews either. We haven't read our reviews. Should we do that now? Yes. Listen to this. Oh. Spotify, uh, this uh, I think has been out for a little while. You can do different interactions. So there's a little thing there that was like a Q and A. So I had asked you guys, what did you think of this episode? So I'll also do one here. Okay. Maybe I'll add a poll in here too. Are you going to remember? Well, maybe. Oh boy. We'll see if I remember. I hope I do. So, um, yeah. In Spotify, we have some interactions that we're going to read. Can you reach yeah. your computer? Yeah. Hold on. Okay. Oh God, I'm going to fall over. Wait, me, me, hold my help. shirt, hold my shirt, hold my shirt, hold my shirt. Okay, we'll be back, we'll be back, okay. You guys should okay. definitely watch this video yeah, this podcast. Good content. Okay. okay, so I cannot pronounce your name. I actually, well, I might be able to, I just can't see it. I think your name is Jafet. says nice. <laughs> <laughs> Literally just says nice. It says nice. Um, Henry that. says, it is amazing. Thank you for the amazing content. This one says, loving the podcast. Keenan. Um, Emma says, I love this podcast. It's hands down my favorite podcast. We're crushing it. You must not listen to a lot of podcasts, but I appreciate it. I mean, I think we're pretty good. We're so good. It's entertaining. It's like we're hanging out, having a conversation. Yeah. Um, Emma wants us to do a portion of the podcast t- called TTT, Talk to Tyler, where he answers or talks about questions or comments directed to him. I like that. We can call it T-cubed. 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 I was going to say squared, but that's two. That's t- cubed? Three. Okay. Um... Love your podcast. I'm so glad you're back. Love the episode. Absolutely. Oh my God. Everyone loves it. They missed us. What are these new? Well, a month ago, two months actually, ago. Actually, Yeah. Because we, the last podcast we posted, it, we were bad at posting. We've been really busy. Justine has 17 new hobbies and <laughs> I'm just so tired all the time. Um, I posted like 12 videos in February, which was a lot for me. Maybe like 12 or 13, four Sorry, YouTube cackling. videos. And that was a lot for me. So I was busy making content and then now I'm, I've been playing video games again. Oh, Uh-oh. a child. We're at, we're at- Hey, come here, child. Bryn, come here. Come here. Okay, we are at our sister's house and we have a three-year-old niece named Bryn. Yeah, come here. She just said, she goes, mom, no, they need me. We come need her. Come here, Bryn. Come over here. Or do you want to say hi? Hello. Tell them your name. Bryn. And what did you do today? I went play on gymnastics. You went to gymnastics? What did we do yesterday? Went to the trampoline park. We went to the trampoline park. Here, We've really been here. doing so many things. Come sit over here, buddy. Come here. Oh, she scooped the child. Oh, I got you. <laughs> she's, she's. Okay. So who would you like to say hi to? I would like to say hi to Nanny. Nanny. Nanny, Nanny is our mom. She calls uh, her grandmother Nanny. Who else would you like to say hi to? Uh, um, Pappy. Pappy is our father. Okay. Who else? Grandfather. Grandpa. Oh, grandpa. Uh, um, <laughs> Did you just burp? <laughs> um, hey, Grandma. Grandma. Oh, Yay. Yay. Grandma. Okay, who else? Come on. Who? Who's your friends? Uh, Maui, Cora, Mookie. Wow, you got lots of friends. Don't get too close. To Do me. you want to tell us what your favorite platform is? Do you like YouTube or TikTok? YouTube and TikTok. 
Which one do you like better? When you go on, wait, tell us, when you go on YouTube, who do you watch? I watch um, Spiderweb. Spiderweb? Spiderweb. No okay, idea. we've lost the child. Okay, we make sure you go back upstairs to your mom now, okay? Yeah. Go tell your mom. We're done now. Go tell your mom. Tell her about, okay. So You're that completed. was our niece. As you can tell, a short attention span runs in the family. That was that was, that was the longest we've got from her to sit down. Now she's, she's doing tumble. Um, so she joined gymnastics a couple weeks ago. So today she had her second class ever, and mm-hmm. we went. We witnessed it. She's still here. She's tumbling around. Brent, go back upstairs, okay, bud? Um, so yeah, so uh, we're talking about my hobby. Your hobbies. So snowboarding. When everyone told me that I should wear like a lot of padding, like I didn't listen to them. You should have listened to them. I know. I mean, I had nothing. I had no gear. Thankfully, 686 like hooked me up with like a bunch of jackets, some pants. <laughs> butt pad? Did you buy your own butt pad? I did buy my own butt pad. B- BYOB? Um, but yeah, I had so much fun. It That's was honestly good. like, like now I'm like fiending to go again. I feel like skiing would have been the easier route. Yeah, but I just- But like, you really just went for it. I did. Go big or go home. Well, and like, I kind of thought, okay, like I can skateboard, okay. Well, since I started getting into snowboarding, just even searching for stuff, all of my TikTok algorithm was all snowboarding stuff. Yeah, it knows. So I saw this girl. She went to this place in Santa Monica and freaking was on like this virtual snow machine. So I was like, well, maybe I try that ahead of time, which was, thank God I did, because it takes me a long time to learn things. Like even how to put my boots on. Well, that's a lot of stuff you like, put on. I know, and like how to strap into the bindings, like what what everything means, like toe edge, heel edge, like where to put your weight. So doing that before I went to the mountain saved me so much learning. Yeah, I would, I would imagine, because imagine learning that all, you know, you're outside cold and like just trying to take everything in at once. That's a lot. It would not have happened. So yeah. I did about six classes before heading up there. I did one that was like a two hour class. Oh. And they say just one one hour session on that machine is like a full day on the mountain, which I get, yes. But the thing that it doesn't prepare you for is the pain of falling and the pain of like propping yourself up. Ooh, <laughs> I would be scared I was gonna break my wrist. I have wrist guards. Well, you could still break your wrist, well, right? Well, it'd be way more difficult too because the wrist guards are basically like, they're, they're protecting Did both Did you sides. have any bruises? I bruise so easily, I would look like I was a peach that got thrown off a mountain. I only <laughs> had like a small bruise, which was kind of weird. Cause honestly, ever since like starting jujitsu, like I don't bruise anymore. <gasps> it's like your body just gets used to like getting abused. And then like- How it, come my body doesn't get used to running into sharp corners? I don't know. Maybe you need to come to jujitsu, get a little, get a little beat down. I don't want it. <laughs> I'm fragile. So yeah, I want you to come to some of the virtual classes and then you should go. It'll Winter's almost over. Oh, there's still mountain. In the Although it was so- snowing here. Yeah. Crazy. I'm going to Colorado soon. Excited to, to try it again. I'm going to the dentist. <laughs> <laughs> and you're giving blood. And I'm giving blood. <laughs> um, I don't think I have any other plans. We should go some more fun. I did just go to a bachelorette weekend. Oh my <laughs> gosh. Did you, did you, I mean, I, I'm five years sober. I'm about right? uh, a one five? week sober. Well, yeah, but you don't ever drink often no, either. But. I, yeah, so you're five years. You haven't had a drink in five years. Mm-hmm. Um, I stopped drinking. I mean, I stopped drinking year like uh, probably like three years ago, like no drinking. But before that, I would have like a couple drinks here and there. So I'd say for the past decade, I didn't really drink much. But definitely the past three years, I probably had two drinks. Yeah. Went to the Bachelorette weekend. Was like, I'm going to be fun. You don't have to drink to have fun. Like that is... Let me just state that. But I was like, okay, I'll have a couple drinks. So I had a couple glasses of champagne with my friends. I saw you had a white claw. So I was only holding the white claw. Okay, that was just for a photo. Yeah, that was just like, you know what? If I'm holding this drink, no one's going to be like, hey, have a drink. Because I'm like, I got one. (laughs) So that's always a good cop out as well. Because for some reason, there's weird societal pressure. You get it. I get it. For people to be like, have a drink, have a drink, take a shot. And it's like... Back in the day, I'm like, oh yeah, sure. Even though I didn't want it. Now I'm like, I don't want it. But also sometimes if you're just holding the drink, people will leave you alone. So I was just holding it. Well, even if you're holding, holding like it. a drink th- of something, then they won't they won't say even, They will say nothing to you. Well, yeah, well, I mean, it was so crazy. Even like the first, because I mean, we were always going to events and always-, always. Dinners, events, parties, yeah. yeah. And so finally, I would just say like, no, thank you, no, thank you. And they're like, oh, come on, come on. And then finally it was just like, I don't drink. I do not and yeah. then it was just like, yeah. you had to be so stern and just like, I don't want to, like, leave me alone. Yeah, for some reason saying I don't want to would was never like accepted. And then like, they'd be like, oh, are you pregnant? And you're like, first off, like, no, I just, I don't want to drink. I've, I've been there, I've done it. I've, I've, I've had the drinkies. Like my body doesn't metabolize alcohol 
well anymore. So it's like if I will even have two glasses of wine the next day, I I lose like two days of like just feeling like crap. So oh, I'm like, yeah. I don't want to drink, but I did want to drink. I had some champagne. We That's we were good. toasting to my friend. I've known her for twenty years, and yeah, it was it was a good time. The next day, I felt like crap. Yep, sucks. And I was like, That's it. I had my one night. Had <laughs> had a couple drinks, and now. Although, Justine. What? Frosé. Can we talk about Frosé for a second? Did I have Frozen Rosé? I don't think I Do you remember at Top Golf? Yeah, I do. Okay, there she's back, people. Yeah, yeah. No, I don't think I did I have it at Top Golf? I feel like I you've feel had it before. like I did. I feel like there was a I place where we used to drink Frosé. When we went to Top Golf, that was before I was in Austria. I don't I think so too. I just feel like there was one time you had Frosé. And I remember it being maybe it was me. And I, I bring I up know. Austria because that's the last mm. place I ever drank. I'm not happy about it. I, w- I had a good time. Oof. I mean, there, there was, was a lot of wine. A lot of wine. You know, when there was you, like when flaming you, drinks that we people were like lighting things yeah, on fire. Yeah, there was some fire. There was a casino. I, was I doubled my money. Like a meat sandwich in a pocket. It's really hard to say what happened. But yeah, anyway, moral of the story is you don't have to drink to have fun. Nope. If you don't want to drink, don't drink. I was my friends weren't pressuring me after a while. They were like, they're not they weren't they understood. I was like, guys, I really don't drink anymore. They're like, okay. But I still was holding the white claw. Just <laughs> Yeah, you got this it. This was the first day. Okay. It was the first day I was like, you know, there were some people there I didn't know. So I just was like try to fit in. And then I was like, so no, I don't drink. I'm upset because for the last couple of parties, I bought like I have like 40 I have so many White Claws in my refrigerator and no one drinks them. Well, I think the kids now drink um, High Noon. Uh, and there's also- High Noon? What's uh, that? And there's, there's like so many variations. There. White Claw tastes very bad. I mean, I've never tried it. I would honestly, it's just like not good. Unless you're drinking like a high quality like liquor, like there's like tequila that doesn't have like all those additives in. Like you're going to have a hangover and you're going to be sick. But like there's actually out like the higher quality liquor- that won't have all that crap in it that you won't have as bad of a hangover. I just don't want to drink. I just want my refrigerator this what, back. This is what, this is all me and Justine's alternative to <laughs> alcohol and caffeine. So we've been obsessed with the sparkling ice and it's really nice because every, not every day, but on days I was working, I would have a coffee in the morning, yerba mate in the afternoon to like, you know, get the caffeine fix, get like the sparkling drink. But now I'm only doing like one coffee a day. Minus today I had a latte. But it's nice because like there's only five calories, no sugar, and it doesn't make me feel bad. No. Yeah, I actually really like those. The only problem is sometimes if I drink them while I'm filming, I'm like, I have to pee so much. Or burp. I'm always burping because they're sparkly. Yeah, I've got some belly stuff going on right now. So I'll be a year free of caffeine on April 1st. Actually, no, April 2nd. April 2nd, Because April 1st, before we went in for the clot, I I had a coffee. Yeah, you did. I remember because they were like, what'd you eat and drink? You're like, I had a coffee and an eggy. I made an eggy before I came to the emergency <laughs> room. Yeah, the, Smart. the lady at the urgent care was like, you need to get to the hospital immediately. And I'm like, well, I'm hungry and I haven't had coffee yet. Yeah. So hold on. That's when you shower, do everything because you don't I know. know how long you're in there for. I said, well, Jenna, I'm going to make myself an egg sandwich and um, a coffee and then we can go. Thankfully you did because you were there for five days. <laughs> oh my God. That's we, we all. Well, I know I went home a couple, like I think a couple nights, but yeah, five days. I told you, I was like, just go home because I'm just going to see. <sighs> Thank God. Like that was like the weirdest thing because it taught me how to pass time. Like I literally blacked out, but like I, my eyes were open. I stared at like just the wall. Is that like, de- what's that like dissociation or decompartmentalization? De- 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 decompartmentalizing? Well, I think compartmentalizing, it's like, I think disassociating. Disassociation, compartmentalizing. Compartment, compartment. I, compartmentalizing. Is that how you say it? I don't know. I know what you're saying, but let me look. I up. was doing those divide into sections or categories. Yes. So I was combining dissociate and compartmentalize. What does dissociate mean? That, that dissociate. Means, that means I'm like disconnected from your. Yeah, basically, you're, like, your, you're just like yeah. disconnecting from things, and like you're just like zoning out and just like out. That's what I do in Ubers, and I feel bad. They're always trying to talk to me, and this is just me. <laughs> I did that for five days. Yeah, I was there. It's crazy. Brushing mm-hmm. your teeth, but yeah. Anyway, uh, okay. So moral of the story: you don't have to drink to have fun. You're allowed to say no. Peer pressure doesn't matter, especially when you're old. Because, you know, I don't, I don't, oh, I almost said a bad word. Whoa. I do not care what people think about me. No. Um, it, it is what it is. And if you have a swollen arm, go to the emergency room. Yeah. Or a leg, a swollen appendage. Or a leg. Yes. Something's probably Something's wrong with swollen. you. Go. Um, I met this girl who did, was with, uh, uh, she was with me. Her name's Jacqueline on this live stream we did the other day. Mm-hmm. And she said her husband also had the same, sort of a same similar thing. And he was young. It's crazy because people think that like this is 
something that old people get. It's just an old person. No, actually, it's a lot of young women because of birth control. Ah, well, that is too. a huge factor for blood clots. Yep. Um, giving birth. Yep. Blood clots. Uh, a lot. I mean, it's just it's really it's actually quite scary. It is. It's one of those things, too. You don't really know until it's like happening or already happened. And then a lot of people have different blood disorders, which you may not even know you have, which because I was so young and so healthy, I'm like, well, if I'm so young, why I'm not really uh, uh, clearly not healthy because my arm is swollen. Purple. What is wrong? Um, they have to test for all of those things, too. So it's like they really didn't know. They're like, you could have a blood disorder. True. Turns yeah. out it's just uh, from my lightsabering. And you know what I was lightsabering the other day? And it didn't swell, but I just, I felt like a weird feeling Ew. that like I just thought before was just because I was like swinging my arm around. I'm yeah. like, mm. Well, it's weird because I think I have the same thing in my left shoulder, the thoracic outlet. Yeah. Because I've, for the past decade, anytime I would do like overhead, it, there would be like a little snap. It'd be like, it'd be like snap. Mine does that. Yeah. It's, really? Yes. Yes. It's so pretty. It's yep. only in this arm though, my left arm. Mine's worse in this arm. And even, yeah, anytime. And anytime I would do overhead presses, like at the gym. Yeah, Because remember oh. we used to go all the time, we yeah. would do the, that, what was that class called? It was called Body Pump. Oh my God, Body Loved Pump. Body Pump. Who, wait, well, there was a name. Body Pump. No, but there's a name who who created it. Oh, it, uh, Les Mills. Les Mills. Les Mills. Les, Les, Mills. Les, Les Mills. I don't think we pronounced the S. Yeah. It was great. Loved that class so much. Got me absolutely shredded. I had abs. But anytime we did the overhead stuff, I had to like alternate. And I always felt like I was like weak or like. Same. I was like, something's wrong, but I could not do it. I could not lift things above my head like that. Well, even when I'm in my closet and my closet's kind of high and I'm like moving clothes, I have to like take a break because I can't keep my arm up for that long. And, and I'm like, what is wrong with me? But when I'm drying my hair, yeah. it starts like going numb. It's yep. yeah, it's not good. So it's just my left, which is weird because it's my non-dominant arm. And that's also your non-dominant arm, but dominant no. for sports. Yeah. It's really confusing. Weird. I've not done anything about it because I think mine's more of like uh, pushing on the nerve where yours is pushing on the vein. Yeah. And there's so also like one that's pushing on the artery. So there's three that's types bad. of thoracic outlet syndrome, artery, vein, or nerve. So mine is definitely the vein because thankfully it's not pushing on the artery, which who knows it could. Eesh. So it's basically when there's not enough space between your first rib, it, it starts like pressing. Yeah. Or if you have an extra rib. You could have an extra. You could also have an extra rib. I, mine is not diagnosed. Mine is just like after realizing what happened to you and like going through all my symptoms and playing back the past 10 years. I'm like, but the doctor said crazy. that could potentially be yours. She did. But yeah. then she never did the, but then we never, never did, did the follow up. We test. never did an FU. Well, they didn't, uh, they did a, an MRI, but the MRI was so high up. It was like my neck. And I'm like, but this isn't, <laughs> I was like, whatever. But then it, they did the ultrasound and they told me I had an abnormal, uh, lymph node and f scared me and then I had to go again like when I do a biopsy and then like no it's not abnormal and I'm like so Whoops. why'd you scare me anyway crazy dude, times happening I cannot stop yawning <laughs> it's 5 like, p.m it's dude insane we're, and, we're on the, and we're on the east coast so like right now it's like what three nap three time well I've been on I've been on the west coast or I've been on the east coast for a little bit but it's also, so the weather here has been terrible. It's been snowing. It hasn't snowed much on the East Coast this whole year. I think like two solid snows from like the Pittsburgh area. That's only when we've been here. But the past two days, no, this is adding up. The past two, it's not sticking. It's like 37 degrees Fahrenheit. So it's like snowing and not sticking. But the wind chill is chilly. Oh, so chilly. Chilled to the bone. Chilled to the bone. So anything else? We gonna well, So I just want to talk about spirit right now. Spirit gold member, I am. <laughs> dude it's actually impressive it, okay honestly traveling sucks most airlines like there's really i mean i've had some great experiences on delta i love JetBlue. i also love JetBlue. blue JetBlue mint oh, oh so great I, I flew JetBlue the other day premium experience not JetBlue mint because it was six, it was sixteen hundred dollars one way singapore airlines also was quite fancy haven't been on it great um hold on i have to yawn again well so spirit so it's the only direct flight from los angeles to pittsburgh yeah, that's it. They used to have Southwest, used to have American. They were all like, nah. So now we're stuck with Spirit for the past year, year and a half, two years. So and I've flown them so much. And also, because I'll usually book, which is so terrible, I'll sometimes book one or two extra seats so that I can have the whole row. Because if you don't add on any add-ons, I mean, that seat can be like $30. Yeah. And if you then, if you the, the big front seat, which is more room, that can sometimes be 300 extra dollars on top of the already price. So I'm like, it is literally cheaper for me to book an entire row than it is to get 
the bigger seat. Well, especially for traveling together, because then we both are booking the big front seat, which would be an extra five hundred, six hundred dollars, whereas we could just pay a hundred dollars for the middle seat. And yes, it might be a little extra, but like honestly, I don't like th- the Spirit planes are so small. There is absolutely no leg room. So especially when we're traveling with Maddie, like there's you can't you can't put you can barely put a hamster under that. Like if you you put a hamster in a little cage, like it's not going to go under there. And there's now, just no room. So at least when we do that, we have room for him. And then so like instead of paying like five hundred extra dollars we're paying like a hundred extra. So I'm only a gold or I'm only a silver. I don't know how, cause we basically flew the same thing. I also booked middle seats, but I never claimed the middle seats. I think so, I started claiming the last uh, couple legs. So I was really close to having gold, but the gold status Dude, is remarkable. Oh my God. So you don't have to pay to choose a seat. You don't have to pay to check a bag. You also can take up to, is it 40 pounds or 50? 50. So you can carry up to 50 pounds. Which they and, only allow you 40 pounds normally. Yeah. And you don't have to pay a pet fee. Crazy. Like I lost my mind. I called, I was on the phone for, I mean, I'm almost, it felt like two freaking hours trying to get a hold of someone because their text message system. Oh yeah, trash. I Actually, it's not bad. No. I've had I've had success. Unless you mess up, you can't go back to the menu. Well, so that's I accidentally chose refund my flight instead of like add on or something. <laughs> so then it gets stuck in this loop and it will not let you go back yeah. to the beginning. So then I had to call. So two and a half hours later, I finally talked to a woman. I said, I need to add a pet on. She goes, oh, Welcome gold member, like just so pleasant, like treating me like I freaking was wearing a gold crown. That never, that never happens. I know, like literally rolled out the red carpet here on the phone. <laughs> and she's like, there's actually no pet fee. And I was like, huh? A blessing. What? what? And it's, it's $150. 125 I think. Well, it's, it's Which is a lot. It's, more, it's over $100. Especially round trip. Well, cause that's the thing. So usually when I go to book our flights or if it's just me, well, let's just say one. It's like, say the base fare is $100. You're like, yep. okay, so $100, then it's 160 to do the bundle. If you book it independently, you have to bu- book your carry-on, you have to do your check bag, um, which is can be like up to 150, 180. Mm-hmm. Like it's a lot of money. And then usually our bag is over 40 pounds. So then you have to pay. I, oh, I messed up. I've been paying a lot of money, but you have to pay another fee. And then the pet is another 120 fee. And then you have to also ba- pay for literally snack, anything. A drink. But anyway, so at this point. And your, 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 um, your personal item. Yeah. So if you wanted to do a, a carry on, you don't have to pay for your personal item. That's free. But the carry on you have to pay for. The carry on. So sorry, at this yeah. point, a hundred dollars literally turns into at least $750 for us, which is insane. Like if we just got on the plane, we would be fine, but we have all these extras. But as a gold member, you don't have to pay for any of that anymore. And you get a free snack. But you do have to pay for seat upgrade, like the big front seat. Yes. Do you get to pick? Because even when you pick a seat, you pay. So you don't have to do that. Because usually, because I would go, so that is the one bad thing when you book, book a middle seat. Not only do you book that ticket, but you have to then book the seat next to you. Right. But still cheaper. It's like 50 bucks. Which is, yeah. So all that being said. Man, I should have. gold. Yeah, sorry, you didn't bring a bag home. I should have had you take my bag. I had to pay for it already. Oh, what do you mean? Well, because I'm you don't have a suitcase. Oh, I don't. Because I'm silver. Shoot. Anyway. So I flew to Florida and then flew here. Oh, no. Fly, fly, and so is extra. Fly, flying? Okay. So I needed not only warm clothes, but I needed cold clothes. So I flew JetBlue jet blue to uh, Fort Lauderdale. My bag was 58 pounds. Oh, my God. Yeah, I know. I know. Did you fly first class? No. So guess how much it was for an overweight bag fee? $250. $150. I was going to say $150, but then you made it seem like it was going to be more. $150 for an overweight bag is a lot of money. I know, but I, but I know. Yeah. I just thought you, and at the point, at at the time I go, how much would it be to upgrade to first class? And she said 650. And I go, "Mm." and she was like, but here's the thing. I can't upgrade you here. So you have to pay for your bag, go through security and then upgrade. And I'm like, Oh, double whammy. No, (laughs) that's terrible. Which I didn't upgrade. I was like, I'm fine. Cause I got the extra room, which had so much space. Yeah. That's a big up. That's a lot. I was, I could put my whole leg out and have so much. But anyway, so then I flew spirit from Florida to Pittsburgh, hundred dollars overweight fee. Well, it cost more than my flight for my overweight bag for both flights. Cause I, I used points for JetBlue and my flight was only like hundred bucks to Pittsburgh <laughs> and my bag cost more. <laughs> That's terrible. And guess what I have to pay to go back to LA? What? Another hundred dollars. Uh, uh, shoot. Yeah. Well, I mean, I can check a bag, I guess. I don't know. I've already paid for it. Yeah, but I, oh, that sucks. It's fine. I've made my mistake. I've lived with it. I've lived, I've learned. Well, I didn't need half the stuff I brought home. And I'm going to go shopping. I have something for us to discuss. Is it going to be what we're going to have for dinner? No. It's about a specific recall (gasps) that has just recently happened, which is kind of tragic, actually. 
So we're huge Yeti fans. Love Yeti coolers. Love the Yeti tumblers. I use the mugs all the time. I bought this Yeti bag yes. that it, it's, I mean, I thought it was great. Like I just was like, oh cool, we need a cooler bag. So I bought it and it has like this magnetic thing and you kind of open it and it's, I was like, ah, oh, it's okay, this is cool. Then I bought Jenna one for her birthday. You did? And <laughs> this, this, was a couple, this was a couple years ago. And now years later, we just get a recall on it. So here's the thing. It's a very tough Yeti bag to open. <laughs> like you can't just prop it open. You have to like hold it because it's like, it snaps so quickly and it's like so strong. It's hurt. I've got my arm stuck in yes, it. Yes, I've gotten this pinky stuck in it. But what I would do is I would put a plate in Same. it to hold it open. And it's also bad because I feel like it would get moldy because it was so suctioned and yep. so whatever. So if it was a little bit wet, like it would get not great. But um, yeah, so I would put a plate in. I always thought like, this is an interesting design. Like it's very aggressive, but it is what it is. I like it. I'm going to use it until the recall. I was like, thank God. Cause honestly, like the more that I thought about, the more that I like did not like this design. Yes. And, but I was like, it was so expensive. I'm like forcing myself to like, it. well, and you got it for me as a gift. So I was like, this is so great. I like it. I know. It was, how much was it? That's pretty expensive. I mean, maybe like six or $700. $600 I for think, one bag. I think so. Hold on, Are you look. high? No, six hundred dollars. Let me look. That makes sense because we bought our mom like a tiny cooler bag, and it was like three hundred dollars. And I was, dude, yeah, that's expensive. Six hundred dollars. That should come with the whole chef Hold to on. put food in the bag. So three hundred and three fifty for the M, the Hopper M three soft cooler. Okay, so maybe it was only three fifty. But then that's why? Was, okay, that's okay. So then we're down to like six hundred million. Okay, which is a lot of money to recall for a cooler bag. What's the recall? Do we like send it in so we can get a? I'm sorry. Oh, get, oh my God, get this. We can get a free char, free of charge of product of our choice replacement of equal or greater value and full refund in the form, or a full refund in the form of a Yeti gift card with an additional $25 value. What are we going to get? Oh my God, I don't know. Ooh, shopping, oh, but you can't get your money back. Doesn't You're getting product right. or- Product full. or- So we could buy something more expensive. We could. The firm has received 1,399 reports of magnet line closures degrading or failing, including reports of missing or detached magnets. No magnet ingestions or injuries have been reported. Oh, really? Well, let me tell you about my arm that has been stuck in this freaking thing. Yeah. I almost lost a finger. Wait, my favorite is there's like this one TikTok where this guy was using um, the Z uh, Yeti zipper like lubricant as chapstick. As chapstick. I, almost, <laughs> I almost did as well. <laughs> Me too. It looks just like, I'm like, why would you make this look like chapstick? Right. Where's that recall? I don't also, know. Also, who's, who is lubing up their Yeti zipper? I lubed mine. Oh. Well, it said to. I was like, <laughs> zip it up. I didn't do it. <laughs> Once we get back to LA, I want to talk about it. I want to look at it. Yeah. It's crazy. Oh my God. This dog is so cute. Hey, I'm hungry, Jess. The cheese tax. The, the cheese tax. Has anybody seen that on TikTok? Mm -hmm. This guy makes uh, puppy the songs. Cheese tax, cheese tax, cheese tax. That might not be how they it goes. They have like 12 million. Should we listen to it? I sent it to you. No, maybe. I don't know. We didn't listen to our anchor voicemail messages. If you we guys were, made it this far. I know. Hello. I, I'm ready to stop talking. Okay. If I'm being honest with you. She's being honest. Let's just, hold on. Let me, <laughs> let's just listen to <laughs> one. My leg is falling asleep. Oh, wake it up. I can't. Hey guys, what are your thoughts on Animal Crossing now? I know you guys were obsessed with it during quarantine in 2020, and I was as well, but now I find the game to be repetitive and boring. <laughs> Should it get more updates, or is it a game of the past now? Also, I love your podcast. Oh my God, thank, thank you. you. I mean, honestly, like, I mean, I haven't had time to play it, and I mean, my friends really aren't playing it. I have logged in for the past couple of years for my birthday, so I will definitely be logging in for my birthday to have oh my God. party. But yeah, I feel like if they do any big updates, they did announce, I forget what it was called. It was like, I don't know if it was called hardcore mode, but it was like, there's like a new mode that they they added. What was that thing you tried to make me play? Cause we, you made me play again. Cause you're like, you can do the island thing. And you were like designing <gasps> homes, happy oh, home. Happy home designer. Oh my God. I was I, like, I, dude, I can't I even design my own home, let alone homes for fake creatures. I played that. Yeah, yeah I did. played that a lot. I loved it. I mean, Animal Crossing was like, it was great. I just think we've been busy now and we, we haven't been able to play. Okay, because we were playing Call of Duty. Oh yeah, we are. I just, I, I just get so addicted that I, I just don't do anything else. I, I have no, I have no control over myself. Play another one. Oh yeah, I have, there's more. See, already, ADD, forgot. Hi, Justine and Jenna. Um, I love Same Brain. It has been great. I've been watching it since you guys released the first episode. Oh my God, thank you. Um, I want to give a special thanks really quickly to specifically Justine. Sorry, Jenna. That's okay. Um, Chillin'. But back in 2016, 
when I watched the live unboxing of the MacBook Pro with the Touch Bar. And Did I see a live unboxing? Postmates or Uber Eats <laughs> or something, which is so funny to me for no reason. Um, that checks out. I've been a tech person ever since then. I've been an Apple fanboy since then, and I have to say, it's all thanks to Justine. So thank you, Justine, and thank you, Jenna, as well. Um, oh, God, I'm running out of time. <laughs> yeah, keep doing what you're doing. Uh, bye. <laughs> that was the, I think that, that might be the so best good. message we've got. Oh, I'm running out I of time. I love it, because I was thinking they were going somewhere with, like, the Postmates or something. or that like so funny. Oh, like, now I got a job at, at Postmates. No, or, like, just like, I don't know. No. You're into <laughs> that, tech. That was so good. Unboxing. Yeah, I don't remember. I don't, I don't remember it either, to be honest. I can't remember anything. Okay, this Never. one's greetings from Finland. Oh. It's me, Jonathan, from Tampere, Finland. Hello. Hi, Jenna. Hello. Taylor. Tyler's on here right now, but we'll tell him. Happy birthday. Mom. Thank you. I love the podcast. I don't know if I said that already. <laughs> I have a question. I hope you have an answer. Related, but what are your top five songs? Or if you can't answer that, albums. My favorite songs are Woke Up Like This by Playboy Cardi and Long Time by Cardi, Man in the Mirror by Michael Jackson, Stand by Eminem. Oh, it's a good one. Black End by Metallica. And a guilty pleasure song is A Thousand Miles by wow. Lisa Carlton. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> you two are so cute. We're cute. If I wow. Okay, top. That is a banger. Yeah. That's I, a banger okay. of a song. I would probably oh. say, I mean, basically like my favorite bands Obviously, Tool. That's all. Like, even, I mean, it's just, it's just at this point, like, that's just a given. I know the pieces fit. I made a friend at the bachelor party. We were talking about Tool. I was like, <laughs> I was like, what's my favorite song? <laughs> um, okay, I would say Tool, okay. One Republic, Imagine Dragons. I freaking love Harry Styles, too. I really love I Harry love Styles. Styles. Like, like, and I'm Miley Cyrus I, lately. Oh, my God, Miley Cyrus. Can, yes. But here's the thing. Like, I think back to, like, when I'm on a long road trip, like what are you what what are you putting on? One Republic, not the, not even not even okay. a question. I put on early two thousands like alternative, like some emo music from like back in high school, or early two thousands like rap. <laughs> <laughs> like those are like my go to. Like I love Little Wayne. <laughs> That's Still fine. To this day. You're allowed. Also, I, I I feel like I was on like the Ed Sheeran kick, but like he's coming out with a new album. Okay, so Ed Sheeran is also a given because like he's just he's so a classic. talented. He's coming out with a new album, uh, subtract next month to, to this month, this month, soon. Um did you see his wife had a tumor and they couldn't operate on it because she was pregnant. He like came out with all this stuff that were no well he's been like gone. I don't know what the update is, wow. but yeah, crazy stuff Ed Sheeran's been going through. Um, I don't know. It's I don't know. I also really like Mike Posner. Yeah, I like Mike Posner. I'm looking through my my Spotify. Okay, okay, hold on. I have something else to talk to you about. So there's a new thing called Spotify DJ. Ooh, Dude, have you oh. heard about this? No, dude. Okay, check Tell this me. out. I'm gonna show you. So there's a new thing that's it's it's Spotify DJ. I'm gonna show it to you. Just listen. Moving on, I got a mix of stuff that should sound a lot like what you've been listening to. Something just your vibe. Starting off with this one from Chevelle. Chevelle. Okay, you're going old school. Dude, I remember Chevelle. Whoa, that's okay. really cool. So get this. What is mine going to say? Do I have it? Change it up. I'm going to play you some of your top songs in 2022. Ooh. Nikki, you're up first. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. From, from TikTok. Do I have DJ? Okay, I got you. We're going to keep it rolling with some dance electronic all for you. I okay, but let me DJ. tell you. Um, How'd that, you get that? So that voice? Yeah. That's all AI. Well, we love AI, Jess. Yeah, but get this. So it's called, his his name's Xavier X. He's a real person. They took him into the studio, recorded all the intonations of his voice, and now he's like a virtual DJ. I love that. And it's that. really cool because it's basically pulling from all of your, like everything that you like, and it's giving you like different facts. It'll give you, as it gets smarter, It'll give you like facts of like why this is on your playlist. Like, oh, this is your playlist from such and such. So we basically wow. pulling from all of your history. How come I don't have that? I think you don't have the is new it update yet. Out yet. Okay. I also really like um, Post Malone on okay, the weekend. Posty, Posty. I mean, those are those are not in like my top five. No, I know. But it's like, so many good ones. I mean, One Republic Tool and Imagine Dragons are hundred yeah. percent in the top three. Like, yeah, yeah. Okay, something else I want to talk about. Oh, sorry, we're almost done. We're almost done. This is topical. <sighs> this new show came out, not sponsored, 
Daisy Jones and the Six. Never heard of it. It's so freaking good. My hand's tired. Well, let's finish talking about it. Okay, so it's beautifully shot. Okay. It's basically set in the 70s, and it follows this band, The Six, and this singer-songwriter, Daisy Jones, and what it's basically like to be uh, in music in the 70s. Are, are you looking at how long we've been recording? No, I was... I was I was hoping you'd hold the mic up for me. <laughs> um, what is? What can you watch? Where can you watch it? You can watch it on um, Amazon Prime Video. Mm, I love Prime Video. I think Prime you should definitely check it out. And like the music is so good. So okay. now, like the, um, it's on Spotify. It was actually Ooh. a novel by I forget what her name is. And I'm That's also cool. listening to oh Taylor Jenkins Reid. I'm listening okay. to the audiobook as well. The audiobook is awesome because it's basically like documentary style. So they're like interviewing the band many years later about like why they broke up. Oh, so it's like going through drama. the drama and like that. The casting is so good. Like, oh, my God. Like, it's just everyone's chemistry. Like, it's so freaking good. I'm obsessed. I'll put it um, on the watch list. Yes, you should. And it's it was produced by uh, Reese Witherspoon's production company, Hello Sunshine. Uh, she can do no wrong. She can't. She's oh my, God, my favorite. Do you think that she'd want to be on our podcast? She has to be on the podcast. She's so great. I want her and Drew Barrymore. I wish Separate. that you could have together. It doesn't matter. Wish you could have witnessed. You weren't there. We weren't traveling together. But this guy literally chased me down in the airport and like grabbed me and I almost punched his throat yeah I was like I, I would have been it. like no touch don't and he goes oh you're not her and I was like oh my god I'm so I'm sorry who did you think I was he's like I thought you were Reese Witherspoon well if, if, if she was then that would have been a, not a great way to approach no. her no I'm like well, you can subscribe to my YouTube channel I didn't say that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like I'm someone just oh, not my as leg. cool my leg but, just so Jenna's legs are asleep ah! we're gonna go because oh we're tired, and this is my birthday episode. Probably. No, it's not. It's, your, it's not your birthday episode. That's you think sad. We'll do another one. All right, guys. Thank you so much for watching or listening. Uh, be sure to leave us all types of interactions everywhere that you can. You can yeah. leave us reviews. You can. We, we need some help on the Spotify. We're at a four point eight right now. So if you could, you know, go over and show some love there. Uh, five stars. Please. Five stars. Uh, only i think you can you can also follow us there too yeah be sure to follow us yeah. do all this stuff thank you guys for watching and listening and we'll see you again for justine's birthday yeah and don't forget you can leave us voicemail messages anchor.fm slash same brain you can also subscribe to my youtube channel jenny's eric i need followers yeah and our same brain podcast channel youtube.com slash same brain and we're on I'm, tiktok i just eat we got tiktok now jenna's been running that i haven't been doing a good job but we're we're trying it's okay we need a full-time podcast employee we need help let us know if you are capable. Able. 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 <laughs> if you are <laughs> able and capable. Okay, we'll see you later. Bye. Bye. Bye.